Peter Fiducia's Woods and Water Big Game Adventures is brought to you by Newfoundland and Labrador Outfitters Association, Arctic Cat, Swarovski Optic, Hipstick, Olympia, Chestnut Hill Outdoors, Winchester Ammunition, Wrangler Pro Gear, and True Life Taxidermy. Hello everyone and welcome to Woods and Water. This week we're hunting at Moosehead Lodge in Newfoundland. The air is crisp and cold and that should make for good moose hunting. During this trip we're going to be hunting not only for moose but for black bear too. If uh, the opportunity presents itself my cameraman Rob is also going to get an opportunity to hunt for moose as well. So stay with us it's going to be a terrific program and uh, hopefully we can show you some really good bulls. You know folks one of the first things I want to do when I get to an outfitter is to sight my rifle in and while Yes, I want to make sure that the airlines didn't beat the, the firearm up so badly that it knocked the scope off. The chances of that are slim. They really have to knock it around for that to happen. But what I'm looking for is my own self-assurance that my rifle and scope are on and that when I see the animal I'm shooting at, uh, I can, that, that assurance makes me more confident. And that's really why I do this. Uh, you know, there, again, there is a slight chance it could be off, but it's probably not. But once you sight it in and you demonstrate to yourself, my rifle is where I want it to be, that gives you the confidence you need in the field when you see that elk, that beast, that deer, that there's no hesitation, no second thought, is my rifle on? I should have sighted in when I got to the outfitter. So that's what I'm doing here today. I'm going to shoot, see where the rifle is. I know where I put it when I left from home, and if I'm where it should be, uh, where the, I was shooting at home, then I'm happy and I'm confident and I've assured myself that uh, I'm not going to have something happen that wasn't expected. So what I'm going to do is uh, shoot at 100 yards and most outfitters will have a 100 yard target and, uh, and I want to make sure that uh, that target is also where the outfitter says it is. So what I do is I take a rangefinder with me for that purpose as well as in the field. I look, measure the target. Uh, I've had some targets that where the outfitter told me they were 100 yards and they were 125. I've had some that were at 85, but the majority is always where the outfitter said it was. And I checked this one before we started and it's exactly at 100 yards. It's 101 yards from here, so I'm figuring from the end of my barrel, it's definitely 100 yards. So what I want to do now is just side her in. I use the uh, hip stick, although it's a shooting stick, basically for me it's a tool. It really steadies my aim. It's a rock solid rest uh, and that's why uh, I use it because it will enhance my, my grouping tremendously. And everything looks terrific and I'm happy and I'm confident now and uh, I'm satisfied that uh, I don't have to worry when I aim at an, at an animal uh, either tomorrow morning or later this evening or whenever. So we're good to go. How far have we traveled across this burn? Well, we're not too far, so we're here probably four or five hundred yards maybe from the truck. Here and just burned out a few years back and uh, this new growth coming up in it now the moose seem to feed on it quite a bit there. They Oh, this young scrub and the young fur and stuff, they make a real good feed for them. I guess it's a bit tender for them. And really, any, in any of these hollows now, you could see a moose. They, it's in, the, in those dips and around those little islands of woods and stuff that are not burned, they, they hang out there. And uh, with the rain stop now, it should be, should be a good morning. Yeah, it should be a real good morning. It's starting to cool off a little too now. Yeah, you feel the weather dropping. So, but yeah. We'll get up right here on this knob here now, and we'll, we'll do a little glassing down in this dip, this bottom here. Maybe we'll pick one up, you never know. Yeah, Rob, we 
going to, uh, I'll make a few more calls here and uh, we'll wait around another 15, 20 minutes or so. And then if we don't spot nothing by then or hear nothing answer us, we'll uh, probably move. I know another nice spot we can go to and check it out if we don't get no, no response here in the next little while. Okay? Sounds good. All right. over here. Just got a clip some coming through. He's coming at me open. Let's go. Cool. Just take your time. Get ready. Get your gun ready. It's just a young bull. So if you don't want to take him, you don't have to. It's up to you. It's my first Newfoundland moose hunt. Okay. Okay. Any bull. okay, let's go. Watch the sticks. Oh, Rob, he's right there. He's right there. I'll, I'll range him for you now. He's broadside there. Are you going to take him? Definitely going to take him. Take him. Okay. 98 yards. Take the shot. I'll just step back a bit. I'm gonna take him. His tracks are coming through here, so I don't see any blood, but with this wet, and sometimes they go away before they bleed, you know? Right. But that first, yeah. the first soaks the blood up as it's running down their belly. Understood. But he comes through here, his tracks are through here, so he shouldn't be too far here. Yeah, see, here, here's some more of his tracks just right here. So. Yeah, I see him. Yeah, good job, Rob. Congratulations. Good Reg, first moose. Excellent Reg, shot. Reg, I can't thank you enough. Excellent I can't thank you enough. On that shot. I can't thank you enough. That was just an amazing experience. You know, folks, it's not always about the, the horns or the antlers. It's about the experience, the hunt. I'll get amazing quality meat out of a young bull like this. It's my first time ever hunting moose in Newfoundland. First time ever hunting moose at all. As a cameraman, we don't always get the experience. First morning, first day of the hunt, we already saw, what would you say that was, about an eight point? Eight, eight ten pointer, yeah, just eight. starting to paddle out. Yep. Things didn't work out between Peter and I on the camera and the moose and so on. We came into the next spot hoping to potentially cut off that same moose that was coming off the other ridge. Yeah, yeah. And this, and this one, you know, after a short stalk, you know, not too far, a few hundred yards in this burn area, we came across it, luckily. I put a really nice shot on it. And Excellent shot, you mean, yep. Perfect placement. Yeah, just an amazing experience. Reggie, again, I cannot thank you enough. I'm glad, I'm, thank I'm you glad enough. you're happy and you're, you're happy with your animal. Oh, and very happy, very maybe happy. Maybe some other day you'll get a chance at another bigger one or yeah, come yeah. back and hunt again. Yeah, absolutely. I have really, Great. really appreciate it. I know my Excellent. family would be happy to see this meat coming too. Good. Thank Excellent. you very much. With Rob's first bull hanging on the meat pole, it was my turn to hunt that evening. I wasn't expecting that we'd take two bulls in one day, but as things turned out, Lady Luck was about to smile on me. That's what I just heard. You heard that too? Yeah. Hear that? He's probably trying to circle. That was a bull. Yeah, no, that's a bull. That's a bull. He's trying to circle us. He's trying to circle us. Keep him out here. He's so brave. Well, what happened was Reg made a call. We heard a bull respond. We heard some noise down there, some snapping, some and the, and the bull actually called back. And now we don't the last five minutes we haven't heard anything. And we don't know what happened, whether he left or what do you guys think happened? Whether he's circling or we're pretty sure he's still there. And that's what we're hoping for. Yeah, we're, we're just hoping that he, he got quiet and he's sitting right there. And eventually he's um, Reg is going to call again. Eventually that's going to get him to walk out here.
I'd rather be lucky than good. And that's just what happened to me this evening. And we came down here with the vehicles to look out over that big bog, every so often we called, and uh, never saw the bull. Clyde said, Peter, behind you. I turn around and this bull is standing on the logging road, broadside on the logging road. What happened, we think, is that that little bull came out, this bull scared him off, circled us and tried to get upwind of what he thought was the cow Definitely. and came up above us on the logging road. We were literally ready to get back in the truck and go to another spot and get down and, and call in another area when he walked right out. Unbelievable hunt. Things happen sometimes, f totally unexpected. Never really uh, had to do too much work for this bull. No, we don't, don't <laughs> do it. But again, I'd rather be lucky than, uh, you know, than really good. Thank you so much. Good job shooting, Peter. Right, well, I Excellent. appreciate it, Excellent Reg. Shooting. Thank you. Uh, Free hand. The only thing between him and I was air, so. Yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> Everything worked out good. Well, there you have it. That's uh, one of the things you can uh, count on here at Moosehead Lodge, seeing a lot of moose, covering a lot of territory, having the choice whether you want to walk yourself uh, around the, the bogs or, or yes. wherever, or uh, riding logging roads, stopping, getting out, hiking a few hundred yards, calling and going, covering a lot of ground basically, getting to the next spot and doing the same thing. I like the choice idea. That's that's a good thing for me. Uh, you know, it's it's and, and if that's something you like, give them a call. Thanks, Rich. You're Appreciate welcome. it. Thank you. Okay, that's a dandy bull too. You didn't know I played it. Yeah, all the all the experts told me. That, oh, know, they did. Yeah, well, you were good. I strong, baby. I strong. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, folks, we're talking with Reg uh, White, who is the son of Reg and Ann White, who own and operate Moosehead Lodge, and Reg is the senior uh, guide here. And um, we're trying to give you some information, so if you're interested in coming, you can uh, basically get some of the information you need. And uh, one of the things that's very interesting here is that they will cater to any age group. There's an 87-year-old gentleman here who is, uh, his name is George Weed from Syracuse, New York, and he's been coming here 33 years, correct? 33 years. Along with his hunting partner who's been with him, oh uh, goodness, I don't know, 20 of those 20, years? 20, at least 20 yeah, of those years. Yeah, and they, they still enjoy it here. And the way they hunt here is pretty interesting because not only do they cater to any age group, but any type of style of hunting. Yeah. You know, a younger guide wants to really go as far as he wants to go through the bogs and up the mountains, you guys they are- can do it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you guys are ready to do that. And if you want to do less walking, that's fine too. No matter what kind of style you like or what type of hunting uh, you do, uh, Moosehead can definitely cater to that, correct? Yes. The lodge itself is really nice, uh, very comfortable, clean. The food was, has been terrific. Uh, and Red, Reg and Ann are very easy to talk to. Um, they will answer all your questions. When I was uh, thinking about coming here, I called, I spoke to Reg. He was very thorough about what he told me, very thorough about what to expect. Um, Anne did all the follow-up, and she was very good with that as well. So uh, you should think about calling them. They have a website. You can go to that. Um, the website it won't give you the kind of information, though, that Reg and, and Anne will give you over the phone. That I can guarantee you. You can get a lot more personal information from them. George and, and Bill have told me how well they've done over the years. Last week, how many did you think? We took seven. Last week we had seven guys and took seven. And the, the first week of the hunt, we had seven guys and we took seven more. So we, there you go. That speaks highly for an outfitter when you have that kind of repeat business who con continually comes back. Of course, there's a lot of guides and outfitters to choose from here yes. in Newfoundland. Yes. That's one of the things I wanted to mention too. You don't always have to hunt a rut in Newfoundland to get a good bull. Believe me, believe me when I tell you that. Um, there are enough bulls to see uh, and, and that will respond to calls. They respond to calling before the rut and well after the hunt. Last year I took a beautiful bull, December 20-something, 20 22nd I think it was, a, a really big bull who was, you know, that time of year they, they start to group together. Yes. And uh, we called them in came into a call. So if you're really interested in booking a hunt here, you should do that. Everything about this place 
uh, is is a one. I mean, from the lodge to the food to the people, the socialness uh, of the uh, of the event at night. Uh, um, we've been listening to some Newfoundland singing and yeah. dancing and guitar playing. It's really a nice place to be. Uh, and more than more than that, more than, the thing that everybody wants to know is obviously, does it have good hunting? And yes, it does. I mean, seven last week, seven this week, we filled out. Uh, the, the two guys that are here filled out, Danny, so man. here's four Congratulations more. On give Ann a call. Nice. Give uh, Reg a call. They'll talk to you. Make your plans, and uh, you, you won't regret coming here. I want to thank you for your hard work so far with my bull, but now you're on the spot. Rob <laughs> bought another license. Yeah. yeah. Rob's my cameraman. Uh, bought a second license. He took a, 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 a bull earlier in the show, and uh, now he's... We'll hold out a little for a bigger one yeah. this time. But they're answering really well now. Yeah, they're starting yeah. to answer. And it's getting colder by the day. So um, do yourself a favor. Give them a call. You won't regret it. Uh, you'll have a terrific hunt here. I can promise you that. Uh, lots and lots and lots of bulls. Thank you for your hard work. I appreciate you're, it. You're welcome, Peter. Oh God, let's just hold up here for a minute. I'm going to have a little cook here now. We've gone 350 yards in what seems like three seconds. Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go. Let's get, make cover some. Folks, I clearly got a second tag here in Newfoundland. You have the avail availability to do that if you tag out early. We came out on a hunt this morning. We are on the top of a ridge where we began calling. Quickly got a response. From several hundred yards they were away. We began our stalk down. As soon as the bull was available to be shot, I got on him. Just what a hunt this morning again here in Newfoundland. We got to get back to the lodge, get some ATVs, get this thing drug out. We'll get them on the meat pole and get you a better look at them there. Reg, again. Thank Good. you so much for a great hunt in Newfoundland. You're welcome. I'll tell you folks, moose hunting in Newfoundland is an amazing experience and I can tell you right now that I will be back. I don't have to ask you if you'll ever be back here at Moosehead Lodge because he's been back here time and time again. True. And I think it's great here. Well, that's like terrific. Yeah. That's good to hear. And thank you so much for stopping in and letting us know, What's you know, what you thought of. And you've been coming up to Moosehead for how long? Uh, 20 plus years. 20 years. And I know that you're Long-time hunting partner can get pretty cranky. Yes, he uh, keeps me straight at all times. <laughs> he wears the stripes. You know, Reg, it always goes quicker than you want it to, but oh, yeah. another yeah. week has flown by. Well, folks, we uh, had a terrific hunt here at Moosehead Lodge, and I want to thank Reg and Ann for having us. Um, we did, a, it was just a terrific week. Everybody at camp got a bull. It was 100% success. And that's something that's not unusual for you, no. but it's pretty unusual for me to hear from lodge okay. to lodge that week after week, year after year, it's 100% success with moose. That's a really terrific number. Uh, if you're interested in coming to Moosehead Lodge, obviously give Reg and Ann a call. They'll be happy to talk to you about it, tell you everything you need to know. Uh, again, we had a terrific re week. Rob took this eight point bull. He also took this spike. Rob is my cameraman and I took a real dandy 14-point, uh, uh, really nice hunt, uh, couldn't get any better. Uh, I don't think my bull was 100 yards from me, so that, that makes it easy on the that ice. That makes it easier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there you have it. Um, it's a terrific lodge. The lodge is really warm, comfortable, dry, food is terrific. Uh, the hunting is absolutely great. I mean, you won't be disappointed at all. Reg, Thank you so much for having us. I really appreciate, appreciate it. Hope you can get back again sometime. I hope I can too, I could tell you that. Thank you for the Great. invite. Well, there you go. Give him a call, folks, and you'll, you'll have a, a wonderful conversation with him, and I'm sure you'll be booking here as well. Hey, come on in, George. This is his longtime hunting buddy. What do you think? Did a good job? You gonna give him an A plus? No, he's just lucky. <laughs>
Reds went a hunting and he did guide our army boys. Reds went a hunting and he did guide American hunters by his side. Aha, aha, me riddle I day.